Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here at Quid in Milan, Italy, and I'm joined by Michela from Flextronics. Thank you very much for stopping by. Thanks for taking the time. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the whole global design offering that Flextronics has, because I know it's very broad. We have a focus here in, in Milan with a very large design center, but it's going on worldwide. Tell me a little bit about how that, how that works. So yes, Flextronics is our, um as I think that is, as an EMS is one of the largest, uh, as a one of the largest design organization in the world. I mean, I think that globally today we are more than 2,500 engineers, design engineers. Uh, we are organized by business segments. Uh, particularly, I'm uh, I'm responsible for uh, one of the largest group that is dedicated to product development in medical devices. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, we have uh, design engineers that are focused in very different areas, starting from consumer electronics, going to industrial, automotive. Uh, um, so, it's, I mean, we are trying to cover all the different uh, technologies and all the different uh, businesses that are, are uh, basically containing uh, electronics, because this is our core business, right? And, uh, and we are considered part of the vertical integration for mm -hmm. uh, the global flextronics business, meaning that, uh, I mean, as a design organization, obviously we, we try to engage our customer very early mm. in the, their uh, life cycle, in their design cycle for product development. And obviously, I mean, one of our goals is, uh, is, uh, is to bring them uh, uh, through all the process, and design right. the products and bring them into, into production. And, uh, and also, if possible, also to, to, uh, to continue to, yeah. uh, to support their life cycle. Yeah, and grow them into the market yes, sure. and, and deploy them worldwide. Um, you're specifically covering medical. Is, is medical a sector that, that seems to be, have a lot, of, a lot of creative energy, a lot of marketing energy, but perhaps not the engineering and, and as a result is happy to outsource design perhaps more than some of the other sectors? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, designing something that uh, will uh, help and improve the life of the of the people, I think that is very exciting. Mm. I think I'm very proud, to be honest, uh, to be part of this uh, of this organization. Uh, I spent all my career basically in uh, life sciences and in, okay. uh, in healthcare. Uh, so yes, you're right. I think that uh, there is a, an, 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 an increasing motivation, if you like, in our design engineers, obviously, to design products that will improve the life mm. of our patient, our our uh, uh, our partners. Um, for sure, creativity is one of the elements. Uh, there is a lot of innovation, particularly in this uh, in this uh, in these years, around medical. Medical typically it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an area in which uh, technologies are introduced uh, uh, typically later uh, mm. in the design cycles uh, because it's a very conservative market. Obviously, technologies need to be very mm. mature before. Uh, uh, Entering this space, uh, there is a lot of uh, risk analysis yeah. uh, in the introduction of technologies in uh, in the medical space. But I can tell you that uh, this gap uh, is going uh, down. Typically, mm. I mean, uh, if you look at the past, uh, there was uh, more or less 10 years, 15 years uh, difference between consumer technologies and medical. Today, I think that, uh, and you, you you see, I think also because some of the devices are around us, yeah. uh, you see that there is a lot of synergies between consumer. Yeah. And, and medical devices, so still conservative, but the gap is uh, is closing more and more. Yeah, and interestingly, medical seems to deploy quite a lot of different um, manufacturing activities and design activities: plastics, pneumatics, um, you know, drug delivery, uh, electromechanics, and of course, electronics displays, those kind of things as well. You have to bring together a lot of a lot of different functions in, in the design process? Absolutely, yes. Uh, uh, there is a lot of system integration, a lot of component engineering. There is also, there is also a lot of, um, if you like, contamination between mm. technologies and industries. Uh, if you look today what is on board on our medical devices, there are a lot of uh, 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 similar technologies that you can find in a mobile phone or a TV, uh, a TV set or uh, an industrial product. Um, so yes, I think that uh, uh, one of the uh, challenge, if you like, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is to make sure that when you import this technology into a medical device, they are basically, uh, uh, um, let's say, uh, uh, meeting the requirements in terms of reliability, safety, that is one of the mm. key requirements, if you like, in our market, and make sure that uh, they are functioning as, we, as we, we are requiring and we are expecting. Okay, and we talk a bit about um, kind of regionalization, reshoring, proximity to customers in terms of end user, but <coughs> also in terms of design that must be important. You have a big facility here in Milan, which is fantastic if you're a creative energy here in, in Italy and you want to access it. What about elsewhere? How do people 
um, manage their relationship with Flextronics globally? Yeah, you're, you're right. I think that uh, proximity always, uh, particularly in product development, uh, it's a plus mm -hmm. because uh, it's time to market at the end, it's communication, it's fast execution. Uh, anyway, I mean, uh, being a, a global organization, a global company, uh, we have built in our, in our organization a system in order to be able to serve customers uh, over the globe. I can tell you that, for instance, for, from, from this design center in Milan, uh, we serve uh, customers uh, in US, in North, uh, in North Europe, in Asia, and uh, we, we, we created the ability really to transfer products from design into manufacturing in the uh, Far East, in Asia, in Eastern Europe. Mm. So the, the network and the nodes that we created uh, really to, uh, uh, to serve uh, different needs and different customer needs is very complex and it's really tailored exactly on the, on the specific business need uh, and, uh, and desire, if like, from, from, from our customers. So there is not one unique way mm to bring uh, in yeah. production uh, something or to yeah. design something. It's really, it's really customized and tailored for each specific business, specific customer. Yeah. Uh, for sure, uh, the uh, uh, location that we have here in Milan is it's very, it's very important because it's the center uh, of the world, if you like. I can tell you that our engineers uh, are starting very early in the morning and mm -hmm. talking with our factories in, uh, in, Asia, in China and yeah. in Asia, right? To, uh, to make sure that when we introduce uh, and we are doing prototyping, for instance, during a uh, product introduction in, in Asia, uh, things are going as expected. Mm. On the other side, most of the customers are in North America, so we, so we basically we close, uh, we close in the evening and the night uh, with meetings uh, and calls with them. So uh, I think that, uh, I mean, uh, being uh, in this uh, central part, if you yeah. like, of the world, it's, it's, it's for sure it's an advantage yeah. uh, and also communication and yeah. technologies today for yeah. sure can help uh, 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 to connect basically yeah. people and organization right yeah and I guess good ideas never sleep you've got to be there 24 7 correct providing those solutions and you correct. leverage kind of video conferencing those kind of technologies to actually get almost in the room with people when you can, I absolutely, guess. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. We also we have developed internal tools, if you like, mm. uh, uh, that we, we use uh, together with our customers uh, to do web calls, uh, web meetings, mm. so virtual uh, events. Uh, particularly, for instance, last year, uh, I, I started an, inter an interesting initiative also to, if you like, uh, to, to deploy a little bit our culture uh, across our customers, uh, basically our virtual technology days. Mm. Uh, that is, uh, is really a, an open event in which our engineers uh, are uh, uh, freely talking uh, uh, to our customers uh, in a couple of hours of uh, presentation to basically to, to uh, update them uh, mm -hmm. on what is going on in the market, yeah. in the industry, in the technologies. And, uh, and this, uh, this was particularly appreciated because, uh, I mean, uh, in, in Flex we can, uh, for sure, we can have uh, a lot of visibility and uh, around the what is going on in the industry, yeah. talking with the different suppliers yeah. and customers. So. Yeah, I mean, that's that's important because you're giving them the visibility on technology that's available, and they're, they're probably thinking, oh yeah, I can design this, now I know that there's this available thing. So those, that, that communication is yes. hugely important in all directions. Michele, thank you very much for talking to me. Thanks for your time. Thank you Always you. a pleasure, and thank we'll you. speak again soon. Thanks. Thank, thank you, you very much.